You may have recently seen headlines about Bernie Sanders fundraising in the third quarter. Headlines like, Bernie Sanders almost matches Hillary Clinton's in the third quarter. Throughout much of the press, the tone is still patronizing. The guy raised $24 million in small contributions from real people, while Clinton only raised about $28 million, even though she benefited from cash from big money interests. Multinational corporations, Wall Street, basically the establishment. Corporations are people, my friend. Hillary should be getting at least a little nervous. We continue to see Bernie's polls rise. That's what she said. As he comes from behind. That's what she said. And yet, much of the press is still reporting on this like Bernie's just an amusing sideshow. Like he's a sweet old Jewish grandpa who's doing unbelievably well for someone who obviously doesn't stand a chance against the person we already know is going to win. You gotta admit Bernie's got an uphill battle. In America, the candidate with more money almost always wins, and Hillary is still killing Bernie in that arena. Bernie's even admitted that he has no chance of raising as much dough as her. On top of that, she still has a huge lead in the national National polls, she's the darling of the Democratic establishment, plus she's a Clinton. How do you beat someone like that? It seems to me that instead of building more jails, maybe, just maybe, we should be putting money into education and jobs for our kids. Bernie Sanders is clearly an exhilarating speaker. He's turned out huge crowds, broken records and small size donations, and if given the opportunity to enact his policies, he has the promise to be as transformative a president as FDR. But does he really stand a chance of winning? Well, it doesn't look great. Here's a graph of the national polls. As you can see, Hillary is still leading by quite a wide margin. Bernie really doesn't look like he stands a chance. Wait a minute. That's the wrong graph. This is actually a graph of the 2008 polls for the equivalent months leading up to the election. And that hopeless candidate isn't Bernie, it's President Obama. And yeah, he won. So let's take a look at this election cycle's polls. Things already look a little bit better, but there's only one way to tell for sure. Let's plot it onto the 2008 primary graph and adjust the margins to fit. Yeah, as you can see, while Obama was flatlining nationally at this point, Bernie Sanders is spiking. And while Hillary was still rising in the polls then, this time around she's done nothing but fall from what everyone thought was an insurmountable lead. She's actually almost dipped down to where she was at this point last time. And that's not the only thing. Nationally, not everyone is plugged into politics as much as they are in the early primary states like Iowa and New Hampshire. In those states, Bernie is already leading, whereas at this point in the 2008 primaries, Obama didn't look like he stood a chance at all, partly because he didn't in New Hampshire. Bernie continues to rise in the polls in these states and nationally, while Hillary continues only to fall. He has mobilized an enormous grassroots movement, he's held to the same principles his entire life, and unlike both Clinton and the current president, his donor base is not made up of Wall Street firms and other major corporate donors. So Bernie's promise of hope and change might actually be something you can believe in. And unlike Clinton's supporters, Bernie's supporters actually believe in his vision for America. So, if the Clinton campaign has any sense at all, they're probably looking at this guy right now and asking themselves this question. 